Welcome to Book Root Readings, your channel for classic, nature, and living children's books. Click the subscribe button to be notified of new readings. Enjoy the story! Have you heard The Nesting Bird? Words by Rita Gray. Pictures by Kennard Pack. Have you heard The Nesting Bird? Words by Rita Gray. Pictures by Kennard Pack. Morning doves take their morning stroll. Cow! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Woodpecker calls from a tree with a hole. Starling sings from a metal pole. Where's the wee wee tree? But have you heard the nesting bird? What bird? Where? That robin nesting up there. Sparrow makes a simple jingle. Chicken! Chicken! Swallow slides from under a shingle. Ha ha chit chit chit. Ha ha twitter twit. Crow calls out, come meet and mingle. Ka 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 ka. But have you heard the nesting bird? Not a single tweet or trill. This nesting bird is so still. Cardinal wears a pointy hat. Cheer, 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 pretty, pretty, pretty. Chickadee is an acrobat. Chickadee, dee, dee. Catbird sounds like a hungry cat. Meow, meow. But have you heard the nesting bird? It doesn't sing, not even a bit. All it does is sit and sit. Blue Jay's shriek is as sharp as a drill. Whippoorwill has his favorite trill. Whippoorwill, Whippoorwill. Wood thrush turns the twilight still. Eulate, eulate. But have you heard the nesting bird? It hasn't sung a single song. This bird has been sitting for so long. Wait, what's that? Tapping, cracking. Something made a little sound. Breaking, shaking. The bird is starting to move around. Ruffling, shuffling. The bird flew off with something blue. Cheeping, peeping. Look, another robin is coming too. The baby birds are here. A word with the bird. Question, why are you so quiet in your nest? Answer, incubating a clutch of eggs is quiet work. I don't want other animals to know I am hiding eggs. They might eat them. Question. Why do you spend almost all your time in your nest? Answer. My eggs depend on me for warmth and shade. If they get too hot or too cold, 
they will not survive, and a hard rain could wash them away. I also turn my eggs daily so that my babies do not stick to the inside of their shells. Question. How do you keep your eggs at the right temperature? Answer. I have a special place on my belly called the brood patch. It is a bald patch that lets my warmth go directly to the eggs. But when I feel my eggs getting too warm, I move away to give them some air. Later on, my feathers will grow back in. Otherwise, I would freeze in winter. Question. Do you ever leave the nest? Answer. Yes for short periods of time to eat and drink. But when it's cold or rainy or very hot, I am needed there almost full time. Question, why did you fly off with something blue? Answer, that was a piece of broken eggshell. I remove all the broken shells to keep our nest clean. Also, the cracked shells would tell predators that my babies have hatched, so it's best to hide them far from our nest. Question. Where is the father bird? Answer. He's always nearby, protecting me and our territory. Sometimes he brings me food. Once the babies arrive, we take turns feeding them. Question. After the babies hatch, can they keep themselves warm and cool? Answer. Oh no. The babies in our brood are practically naked and still need our protection. Question. What should I do if I find a bird sitting in her nest? Answer. Quietly watch her for a short period of time before moving away. Mother birds are uncomfortable when people stay near their nests and they won't feel free to take their breaks. Question. Do birds live in nests all the time? Answer. No. We only use nests to raise our young. Once the babies can fly, they leave the nest forever. Question. But what happens to the babies after they leave the nest? Answer. We continue to care for our fledglings until they are ready to be on their own. So if you find a fully feathered fledgling on the ground, please leave it there. It might look alone, but it isn't. Question. Do you have a song? Answer. I make lots of different sounds to communicate. But mostly, the father bird does the singing. In fact, that's why I picked him. I love his song. It goes like this. Cheerily, cheer up. My tree makes syrup. Syrup so sweet. Well, that's what it sounds like to me. But you can make up your own words to bird songs. Try it. It's fun. For Andrea. R.G. For my dear, graceful mother, K.P.